UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Reyes is 30, Santos is 36. Reyes will have a one inch reach advantage. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Up of strikers, any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chip? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big off the punch land. Now he gets back to range. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. What a body kick. 
switching stances here. Able to check that kick as well. Moving to his left now. Ooh, big shot lands. His misses are entertaining. Watch the shot. Oh, that's a big right hand from Dominic Reyes. We talk so much about his kicks. Don't sleep on those hands. Don't sleep on the hands. He put Chris Weidman out with his hands. Chris Weidman's one of the greatest middleweights of all time. And Dominic Reyes got him out of there in one round. Oh, nice jab. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Good stick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. There it is. Take Slips to avoid that left. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Well, missed on that one. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Big head kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just a slip there. Ninety seconds to go. I want to see your kicks. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. So just over twenty total strikes have landed for Maheta. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Ooh, what a punch. Big knee to the body. Back and forth we go here. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 30 seconds to go now. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Good punch, land. Trying to double up on that jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice punch check. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. There's no give on that leg kick. Position. 
Strong defense there to block the shot. He landed a good uppercut there. That's a great punch. He got him. 37 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mejeta Santos. And landing with 31% accuracy tonight against Dominic Reyes. Oh, big head kick land. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Out of range with that one. Caught that kick there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Circling to his right. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He missed with that jab attempt there. Wow, what a kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just over two minutes to go. Pump that left hand. Nice looping punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick land. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. And he landed the right hand there. Well, the NFL's lost, the UFC's gain as Dominic Reyes lands another huge kick here tonight. Another big kick, and look at the size of his legs. Could you imagine getting kicked by this guy? You see that real big bottom half. That's a football type of body. A guy that's used to running with a football, now he's using those running legs to land those damaging kick and strikes. Nice straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Try to establish that jab. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Right hook to the head blocked. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Tie. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. Get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over.
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch land. Boom. Nice body kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick lands. 73 total strikes have landed for Maheta. Well, not the most efficient. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. I need more strikes. Changes his stance. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. How about that shin? Beautiful body. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Protect your face. Hands up. Single collar tie now. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! Looping left hand misses the target. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Oh, big left hand there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Ooh -wee. Ooh wee what a right hand by this young man. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Oh. Single collar tie there. Nice punch, Lance. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, huge block! Not there. Missed with that attempt. One minute. Slips. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, oh, big knee! Out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh! 
He loaded up on that right hand, too. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, big punch land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Stay busy. You control this. You have to do more than that if you want to keep it up. Back and forth we go! Oh, man. That, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, beautiful kick to the body by Tiago Santos. This could be the beginning of the end for his opponent. Can't take many of those. I mean, Santos has massive legs. It's like taking a baseball bat and hitting the rib. You have got to keep that elbow down. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of Joe. Oh. He didn't like oh. that start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under two minutes now to go. Land the single ground strike there. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Get out. Wrist control, wrist control. There you go. Get those wrists. Control the wrist. Under a minute to go.
45 seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Use your footwork and let's get focused. Fifteen seconds. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Fifth and final round. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Whoa! Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. What a punch. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but button mashing. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Whoa! He finishes the fight. He wiped the ball. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes of round number five, declaring the winner by well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.